Hello and welcome to Thronebreaker, the Gwent RPG. It's mainly a role-playing game, uh, and the fights are basically played as as a card game, uh, from what I know. And it's it's about damn time to give it a shot. So we're just gonna go on the highest difficulty. Hopefully that's just gonna be fine. For players familiar with Gwent and ready to put their skills to the test, that's that's me. They could have just wrote my name there. That's fine. Let's break some bones. <clears throat> The year 1267. War hung in the air, its scent palpable. The mighty empire of Nilfgaard stood poised, greedily eyeing the northern realms just across the Yaruga. In light of the threat, the realm sovereigns met in summit. They made declarations, pledged fraternal assistance, forged alliances, and then, in good spirits, dispersed. Among them, Meave, Queen of the Twin Realms Lyria and Rivia. Know the name? Hmm? Heard her beauty extolled? <laughs> Justly so. Remarkable she was. Not for her graceful exterior, but for her persistence and courage. Where was I? Ha! Ah. As the Queen and her retinue neared her capital, Count Caldwell appeared. In Meave's absence, the Count was to have helped her son, the youthful Prince Willem run the Twin Kingdoms. Caldwell had clearly ridden hard. Drops <clears throat> of perspiration dangled from his whiskers, his neck red and chafed from a rough, starched stiff. Caldwell! <clears throat> hey, we just came back uh, from a little chit-chat with the other leaders. Me. I believe uh, she is the, the protagonist of uh, this story. <clears throat> Well, Wonder Woman, a, l a little bit more armored than Wonder Woman, but like, she's unmistakably Wonder Woman and my loyal henchman, uh, Matt Smith, uh, the Time Lord, uh, Doctor Who, obviously, and I don't know who this guy is, uh, Coldwell with a very sad choice for a mustache, so, <clears throat> hey, what's up? Hail, your majesty. Delighted to see you in good health. The summit, it ended fruitfully, I hope? Um, yeah, I guess. Yes, at its end, letters were exchanged, documents signed, paper. Time will tell of what value. That will suffice as cordialities go, Caldwell. Tell me what's happened, for I sincerely doubt sheer longing prompted you to ride out. Indeed, Your Grace. Another circumstance inspired me to do so. <clears throat> the strays of Sparla, the bandits... I was attend to during your grace's absence. The situation's gotten out of hand, I fear. How so? Um... <clears throat> Strays of Spala? I I'm pretty disappointed, I have to say, Caldwell. I deliberated. Wasn't at all certain in giving you the task. I knew you to be an equally good strategist as I am a shepherdess. So my intuition said no, yet Reynard interceded on your behalf. Your Grace, they're common bandits, while the Count will have a host of men-at-arms to command. Next time, I shall trust my gut. <laughs> All right. Speak. Kill him on the spot. What has happened? Be precise. How could you fuck this up, Coldwell? You had one job. As your Grace ordained. <clears throat> I set out and was nipping at the bandits' tails for long. We pursued for weeks, until scouts returned, having sighted the strays camp in the forest near Lockeran. We waited for nightfall, to surprise them as they slept. Uh, sure. Alas, it proved a ruse. We found the tents empty. Straw-stuffed dummies around the fire. Soon, we learned that as we waited for the sunset, the strays had snuck away, rounded our positions and ridden... To Hawksburn. Wait, what? They managed to do all that? And you guys didn't see a damn thing? Didn't you guys have eyes on them? Or were they were you guys watching them just uh stuffed dummies full of straw? I suppose they could have done that. 
Like in the night, I maybe. But one would imagine that they had a bunch of torches around, at least, and Coldwell wouldn't wouldn't wait like, like a lot. Anyway, <clears throat> okay. Sure, Coldwell. Honest mistake, no problem. I beg your pardon, my lord. The tax collectors. That is where they station. Oh, really? So the gold? All of it? Uh, it's stolen, your grace. But I shall do all in my power to recover it. This I vow. If it be your grace's wish. You shall do no such thing. I got it. After weeks in the saddle, your grace's wishes are modest. A hot bath and a night's sleep in her own bed. <clears throat> Yet, they shall have to wait. I must look personally to this matter. Your force, Coldwell, I will now command. You, send a herald to Hawksburn. They must prepare for the Queen's arrival. Air the rooms, dust off the porcelain. Make certain they do it. I have to say, Coldwell, I can't be really ma be <clears throat> mad at you. That thing around your neck, you look like a cupcake. I love it. Do you see now, Reynard? I believe I foretold it would be thus. My son wasn't ready in the least to rule an entire country. I confess, Prince Willem has much to learn yet. Hmm, yes. And very little time. Welcome to Thronebreaker tutorial before- I hate tutorials! Before embarking on your adventure, you should get acquainted with basic in-game mechanics. I don't want to. I know how to click the mouse. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna go on the road. That's the way we're gonna uh, play this uh, game. <clears throat> Telling me to go on the road? I'm a rebel. You will expand your army throughout the game, but to do so you must collect following types of resources. Gold, wood, and recruits? Okay. On the road you can find useful items and even new companions who will support you in battle. If you don't want to miss anything, be sure to fully explore the map and complete uh, side quests. Who cares? Uh, uh, what? Give me that thing. What are you doing, mister? Okay, uh, give me the log. Oh, thought it were bandits riding in. Oh, pick it up. Oh, that's wood. That's kind of lame. Maybe I don't care. More wood? I kind of feel like this is not a job for Wonder Woman. And I'm just stealing wood from these peasants. What gives? Don't get me wrong. I'm all for taking stuff just in case. <coughs> what is that? Recruits? Some dudes join me? But why? Hey, woman, what's up? Milka, they stretched her over a fire till she told them where she buried her gold. Oh, she has gold? Rather die than tell him she would. But I know where she kept it. Sit tight, sketch it out for you. That's a piece of shit drawing. What the fuck is that? Okay, so it's a. It's in front of a shed. Basically, but you know what would be even better information because you know you can just write them down in one sentence is Where the fuck that shed is? I found the treasure map Well, that's really good Very useful map <clears throat> Nilka Smart lassie good map Loving it So that means like seven more guys join me Oh no, we can't go past this. That's one, one tree. Oh my god, no. Oh, I need to spend resources? Like how much? <clears throat> Your Majesty, it seems someone's uh, felled an oak, old oak, which now blocks the road. Unfortunately, our wagons cannot go around it. How do you wish to proceed? Have the loggers sort the matter. Our soldiers should conserve their strength. 
Oh, that's that's pretty good. We have a lot of gold. Issue access to the soldiers and put them to work. Um, this is okay. We also get more wood out of it. I'll take that. <clears throat> okay. Um, whoa! This could be it! The secret area! Oh my god, we did it! Wait, what? What the fuck? We found a dude? That's even worse than finding great axes in, like, flies when you're playing an action role-playing game. What the hell, Reynard Odo? You were hiding... He was literally hiding in a chest in front of a, a shed and he had some information. The, the only way we could find him is some, well, yeah, Milka, the whatever village woman, uh, got tortured but didn't give up the information, but her friend did. And now we found Reynard Odo, who was hiding in the middle of the, in, in, a, in a chest, in, a, in just middle of fucking nothing. What the fuck? Okay, <clears throat> I'm not sure how I feel about him as a fighter now, but yeah, I guess uh, you're welcome to join my team. Because we're gonna take out uh, what kind of bandits? I kind of forget that name. Most interactive objects are marked clearly on your map, but not all. Dun dun. Some events uh, cannot be predicted, so you'd be best prepared for anything. Anything? Count Caldwell rode at the column's head, scanning its flanks with a wary eye that, <clears throat> despite his advanced age, proved very sharp indeed. Your Majesty! Bandits! There! At the tree line! The Count's footmen, unaccustomed to escorting their queen, sought to shield her with their bodies and assumed a tight formation to do so. They were promptly knocked aside as Meave charged headlong at the bandits, brandishing her blade and bellowing a ferocious cry. Attack! Charge! Boys, it's a bit too tight, okay? Uh, let's just go and kill some bandits. Um... Yeah, let's just take them out. I don't think we're gonna need the, the lore text of every random bandit fight. Maybe, maybe who knows? Uh, it's gonna be more meaningful. Yeah, I know. Lace. Okay, I know how to play Grant. Don't give me this information. Think about slings. They hide well. To attack the queen? An outrage! Okay, don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Your grace, the men await. You must lead to begin the attack. Don't care! No! Okay, I'm gonna play that dude over there. Ah, if you you know, leave me alone. The earth they are, your grace. They'd follow you into fire. You need simply say the word. Okay. Please, let me alone. Game, no, stop. Holy shit. I shall teach you to respect the crown, you dogs! Are you happy now, game? Oh! Hmm. Play a copy of each adjacent unit. From your deck. Hmm. I'm a won't say. I suppose that makes more sense if we have. Look out! See cover! We are bombarded! Past. Please. I don't care. And turn. What? Why do you make me play a card? We won! I have 17 points. 
game? 17 is more than 12. Do I need to give you a tutorial? Hmm? Hmm? No, there's no chance. What? Who dares? This is <laughs> We got him good. <laughs> <sighs> yes, our Shut victory the fuck is assured. Up, Sound the horns. May they sing praises of this triumph for ages. Don't care. The battle's not yet done. It is better to conserve our strength. Prepare for a strike that will prove decisive. Sure. Battle formation! Protect the queen! Okay. And the thing is, do we? Actually, we can't draw three cards. So, we might as well. Spirits willing and how, but these damn boots are killing me. I just, I just do something like that. Ever have a stone knock out one of your teeth? Does he even have cards left? <laughs> I don't know. Laria! Maybe not there. One boat's all I need. This doesn't really matter. I don't know. Oh, give it doesn't even give us a choice. I would need to shoot myself. Abolition, yeah, let's go command. like that. <laughs> I don't think these bandits are really getting the picture here. There's a time to reap, a time to sow, and a time to die. Please, let me pass. Drive it the white of an eye from half a league away. Holy shit. Thanks, game. I congratulate you on your latest victory, Your Grace. The bandits stood not a chance. Yeah, I just put down points and my points were more than the points my enemy put down but also he had zero chance to win anyway <clears throat> matters seem indeed to have gotten out of hand to put it mildly Meave said arms crossed atop her shining breastplate they've grown bold doubtless after the raid on the manor the tax collectors have not heard of an ambush on the high road of foe Caldwell explained avoiding his lieges wrathful gaze Enough, Caldwell. We must put things right. Come! The Queen's retinue set out, cavalry in front, infantry and arbalists close behind, and, following in the rear, the bandits, bound in chains. Wait, what? We captured them? Really? Oh, take their stuff. That's the best part. Make more stuff. Alright, let's uh... go. <clears throat> I do adore this prospect. Yes. Lyria, the Pearl of the North. With its hills and dales. Why, its beauty matched only by that of its queen. Oh my After god. After three weeks in the saddle, I've my doubts, Count. We shall pitch camp here. Our soldiers need respite. A spell of it they deserve. To survey your army, you must first pitch camp. Pitch camp by pressing the tent button on the left side of the screen. Sure. Camp building allows you to expand your army and give you access to important information. Most camp buildings can be improved in your workshop. These improvements will give you access to stronger units, thus easing your journey down the line. Which one is the workshop? Is this the one? Is the one? That's the workshop? Well, I take your word for it. What is this? Here you can build and improve camp buildings. I don't think game you really get the point of the camp. Um, um, <laughs> you must first collect appropriate quantity of gold and wood. For your journey you definitely need access to a regional map. But to get it, you first need to improve your royal tent. Okay. Oh, what? 1,000? 
fine. Total scam. Thanks to this improvement, you have access to the regional map, which you can open from the ma main game screen. So we literally just bought a map for like 1000 gold. Like, there's nothing that really happened to the tent. The worship itself can also be improved. With each subsequent uh, improvement, you will gain access to new, stronger units. Come on, tent to view my army. This is the one. And these are my units. And that's... Yeah, that's basically like the Gwen screen. I guess we're gonna have everything in there. Oh, wait. Maybe... Maybe not. Well, we actually... Need a moon. Improve this building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, what? I kind of missed it. Cards currently in your deck are displayed on the left hand side. Uh, yeah. Game. This is not cool. Create out cards of, are available but have not yet been created. You must first create them before you can include them in your deck. Your deck must contain a minimum of 25 cards, but we only have 24. While not exceeding your army's recruit cap, currently your recruit cap sits at 125. Game. Was there an option to dis uh, just disable the tutorial? Okay. Uh, you've recruited, uh, you know, you received initial resources to craft a Wagenburg card. <laughs> Grab one now. Game, how can I resist? But how do I do that? Can I just... Um, can't help but feel that I should just have access to this part of the screen as well. Like, I do have access to everything here. Okay, that's the Wagenburg. Wait, what? 15? I guess we're doing this. Oh yeah! Wagenburg! You can now view and create new cards or return to the main game screen to continue your journey. Great. Let's just go away. Okay. So we can check out the other thingies. And I'm cool with that as long as the tutorial thingy just shut, shuts up. Okay, what is this? Well, this is like the quest log, right? Why not just say this? I think that's that's really underrated at times. Just using... Yeah, keys. It's kind of like a inventory slash quest log. What do we have here? You can talk with your companions in the mess tent. Uh, give them a little bit of your time and you may learn a secret or two. Okay. A bit of respite, Reynard. What the hell? What's up, Matt Smith? Uh, yes. But if you've any new orders, Your Grace, I can be ready at any... At ease, Reynard. At ease. Uh, Willem is not suited to be king. I don't even know who Willem is at this point. I must go. <laughs> <laughs> That's the perfect line. Hey, what's up, Reynard? I must go. Uh, it's not wearisome sitting alone. Oh, here we go. Don't you find it wearisome sitting alone? Wouldn't you prefer another's company? Swapping tales with the innkeep, even. Mm. Your concern, I most appreciate, Your Grace. But I prefer silence. What? This was your chance. This was your chance. God damn it. 
Has it always been this <sighs> with you? Ever a man apart? <laughs> Quite the contrary, Your Grace. As a youth, I gloried in company, delighted in conversation. So what was it that changed you? That delight nearly cost me my head. But do you truly not know the tale, my lady? How I came to be your departed husband's aid? I don't, but would gladly hear it. I had but twenty winters behind me when I enlisted. Yet I was granted the rank of lieutenant from the start, not by merit, but by birth. The respect of veteran officers, both my peers and seniors, that they could not grant. Nor did I deserve it. Fair enough. To earn that respect became my driving aim. And to seem wise beyond my years, I began spouting off about the King's decisions. This maneuver Reginald botched, that he failed to think through, and yet elsewhere he'd blundered like a schoolboy. Hmm. I'm not sure I feel about that, you're just... Well, do you really know what you're talking about? You're just talking nonsense. I was just dumb. Doing to end badly, especially in in a in a society like this, probably people are gonna take offense to you bad mouthing the king, right? Uh, doing to end badly. Like, okay, like even if Reginald made the mistakes, which he uh, certainly did, I suppose. Uh, yeah, doing to end badly. I. I <laughs> uh, Poor Reynard. Talk of that nature could only ever result in misfortune. It was not long before I was clanking about in shackles. Another officer had reported me. I was charged with Les Majesty. The court martial took but a quarter of an hour to deliver verdict and sentence. I was guilty of treason, and the noose awaited me. But Reginald first stayed the execution. Then ordered that I repeat every word I'd uttered about his person or deeds. Soaked with sweat, my voice cracking, I did as he ordained. Reginald listened, raptly and silently. And when I'd finished, he declared I was right. He then appointed me his personal aide. A clever lad like you, I can always use at my side. <laughs> wow. You got lucky. Indeed. Though hardly sharp himself, wisdom in others Reginald both recognized and heeded. It was then I swore two things. Firstly, never again to wag my tongue like a fool. Secondly, never to betray his trust. Hmm. And you never did. Know what he told me moments before he passed. Trust none of them, Meave, save Reynard. The old sod was right about that, at least. I thank you for sharing that tale, Reynard. Truly. Well, I'm not gonna talk about my boy it's at this time. I attended time. to other matters. <clears throat> All right, let's leave. Workshop. Increase the number of trinkets Mave can equip to free. Mess tent. What is that? Use scouts to mark the location of treasure and resources on your regional map. Training grounds. Wait, what? Gain one recruit after every battle won? It seems like an okay thing, but I don't know what recruits are for. Train. Oh, yeah. Provides access to the training grounds and enables you to recruit new combat units in the command tent. Ooh, here we go. Gain golds per battle. Oh, that seems pretty worth it. So, 50 gold on average for winning battles. That may be just a dumb thing, but it seems like seems worth it. Oh, this also gives us access to other stuff. Let me just go with the gold. Camp structure requirement not met. Not met. Oh. So, this is the first thing we have to... Build. Uh, we may just save up for that. 
Okay, sure. Uh, just exit the camp for now. <clears throat> Remember that you can open your map by clicking on the compass uh, rose icon on the left side of the screen. I prefer a hotkey for this. Maybe there is one. I'll look into it later. I find this map highly confusing. Oh, nothing in the wagon? Is this what I pay taxes for? To be robbed along the high road? And in broad daylight, no less? Were it not for mandatory merchant routes and stacking rice, why I'd have gone round, through Sodden. They told me, they told me! Lyria's a wild land, lawless, chaotic, a damn disgrace! Is this what I pay taxes for? To be robbed along the high road? And in broad daylight, no less? Well, I'm sorry to hear about your misfortune. <clears throat> your army's morale can change. Uh, neutral morale has no impact on your cards, whereas low morale lowers each unit's strength by one point, and high morale, same, increases by one. The army's current level of morale is displayed by an icon in the upper left corner of the screen. Changes in morale depend on your choices throughout the game. To increase it, make an offering at a wayside uh, shrine, but remember, after victorious battles, morale returns to neutral, so you must always keep an eye on it. Wow. Then maybe we won't care about it that much. So the morale went up. So the God next fight we're gonna be stronger. Necrophages. Drawn here by blood scent. For such vile monstrosities to prowl the high roads of my realm. I won't allow it. Attack Come on! <laughs> you need to calm down, Wonder Woman. Uh, don't care. I just start a battle. Custom deck? Is there a... Oh, maybe there's a way to ha have a non-custom deck. A trophy is a unique type of card and you can have only one in your deck at a time. A trophy will automatically appear on the battlefield at the beginning of the match. Fog in broad daylight. With the heat positively sweltering, hmm. have we to do with some manner of sorcery? We shouldn't exclude the possibility, my lord. And great caution we must exercise. The rows are now covered in fog, which is just one of several row effects you will encounter. Okay. Raynard, what is this? Some spectre? A Strigger? I can't be sure, Your Grace. It's the first I've seen of any such... thing. Read the name, guys! It's called the Foglet. Okay, let's go with this. My spirit's willing and how, but these damn boots are killing me. Yeah, this guy's pretty good. These carrion eaters, I know them, appeared on my estate last spring, enticed by the corpses of those of my sheep that fell. Harmless at first, until, that is, they fill their guts. Seemed to become quite powerful then. Yeah, but do I want to do that right now? I can just pass. I guess I don't have a choice, right? <clears throat> Fearsome they look true. But they bleed just as we do. Please game. Onward. Don't make me use my Slay card. the filth. Can I pass? Now, I have an issue with this because the entire point of the tutorial is to teach me how to play the game. But if you force me to put a card here, you're actually teaching me to how to play the game wrong. So... What's up with that? Give me a time. Ah, so this only made sense if my maximum uh, hand size is free. Because I'm gonna draw three cards. Uh, but that 
that's actually not correct. Oh, I already read that. There's a time to reap, a time to sow. Now the thing is, if I pick normal or easy and the game try to give me so many tips, I suppose like a little bit uh, asked for it, but I chose the highest difficulty. I I literally chose the option. I know Gwent, guys. What the hell, game? Your grace, yet more come. They fill their bellies, ma'am. This doesn't bode well. Oh no, not well at all. Okay, I guess we're gonna shoot this guy. Is strong as steers they've grown, and they show no fear. Frenzied, my lady. It's bloodlust. They lose all instinct to survive, feel no pain whatever. Call the, you know shit. Before. Your Majesty, we must give ground, <laughs> fall back. We can't win, must minimize our uh. losses. Oh, that's... That's strong. What does it do? My queen, there is no shame in seeding the field when fortunes turn sour. Well, I guess we're gonna give it up. Maybe I should have saved the loyal guy. If you have to play this again, isn't this bad? Victory must be ours now. We shall not retreat. Arms at the ready. Attack! Look there. Yet another abomination. Oh, that stench. My salts. Where are my salts? To successfully command your army, you should understand the synergy that exists between your cards. That's what I was trying to read. Uh, when you rudely interrupted me. Yes, I figured that out, game. I don't... That's not a really a good way to do it, because... Figuring stuff out is, like, a very important part of, like, having fun in games. You don't have to tell me what to do. And if I don't do that... Wait, what? This has the cooldown of 3, but because of this it has the cooldown of 2. But for some reason we can't use it now, again. Um, it's surprising. Yeah, we can click that, but it has no armor. Give one charge to all units with depleted order. So we're gonna play that last. I'm a monster. No, I won't use Wagenberg's ability. Oh my god, this is not the plan. The plan is to play another Lydia play another Lydia Arborest, then use Wagenberg's ability, then use this guy, and use it again. But I suppose we're not gonna do that, also I can't use Maeve. Well I guess we're using it now. Okay. Please, game. Discipline shall bring us victory. I can't use Maeve's ability. Oh, I have to do it right now again. Disappointing. Eh. Nah.
Yes! Okay, we're gonna pass. Now we can use Maeve, but we're gonna pass. Because the beasts hadn't a chance against why not? us. Victory is ours. Huh. Even if there is a way to disable the tutorial, it should not be on by default. There should be an option that, hey, I just want to play a game and figure this out. Oh, we found a letter. It seems like a love letter. <clears throat> My beloved, please write as soon as you reach the temple. I know only two weeks have passed, but my heart weighs heavy with thoughts of you. Our home feels empty without you. I hope our offering, the Omaras, will please the Mother Goddess. With her blessing, we shall have a child at long last. I have no doubt you'll make a loving father as husband. Please be vigilant and return to me soon, wherever yours. Frilke. Okay. Well, that's pretty sad. Whoa, too many ways to go. I can't decide. I'm just gonna steal your wood. Like, this is what I'm talking about. Look at the look at this guy. He's chopping wood all day long and I just come here and take take it all. Shouldn't I feel bad about this? Many trees we felled, my lady. Might you have need of them? So take whatever your heart desires. Oh come on. Whoa, he gave me more? They call themselves strays. Well, we'll treat them like strays. Well, it doesn't really count because we took his uh, took his logs before talking to him. I think that should be uh, an action that uh, takes you toward, well, maybe, well, kind of evil. Because we are basically stealing at that point. Meh, picking up stuff. Discovering signposts unlocks the ability to fast travel, allowing you to move between them at any time from uh, your regional map. I like that they use, uh, they use the word uh, fast travel. That's a very good way to describe it, because that's that's a, a description that uh, players are familiar with. You don't have to have like a whatever camp that, that just uh, or tent that basically is a quest log. All right, let's go. Cool. Oh, do I need to activate it? Um, main quest. Oh yeah, inside. Check out the log. No, no, no. The log. <sighs> okay, let's go there and pick up the log. For some reason, uh, we were opening up the this uh, this fast travel point when I was clicking on the log. The masks they wear. Have you seen them? They fangs, snouts, horns. Like a right proper nightmare. Don't say. I like it. Maybe I'm gonna uh, get one for myself. No, for personal use. Uh, not sure when it's gonna come handy, but who knows? Maybe for parties. Oh, quest. Soon, Queen and retinue arrived at Hawksburn. The men stationed there, they found standing at attention. Baking under the blistering noonday sun. Oh. Okay. Your Majesty, Count Coldwell. Mm. Guys, can, can you just give me some room? You know, we don't have to stand so, 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 so pressed up against each other. You know, guys. Never mind that. Stand at ease, Sergeant, and report. The local peasants we've rounded up in the yard, Your Grace. Expect they might have lent the bandits aid. Yet our courtesy ain't inspired them. They haven't peeped a word. Oh. Might it please Your Grace to summon the hangman? He ties a noose for them, should have them jabbering right quick. <laughs> I'll speak to them first. Your Majesty. 
For the Queen to question commoners, why, it's simply not proper. Whom for? I shan't be stripped of crown and titles for it, so no impediment do I see. Lead me to them. Bow low for your sovereign, Her Majesty, Queen Meave of Lyria and Rivia. Well, your speech doesn't didn't really affect them. <laughs> well, maybe they are not really loyal subjects, but we can definitely use them in a poker party. Have mercy, your grace. We bear no guilt, we simple folk. Calm your hearts, you have nothing to fear. Speak, tell me all now or else. Come on, even if you're gonna kill them. Do we really want to go full crazy Maybe the first line we say? Calm your hearts, you have nothing to fear. Calm your hearts, good folk. Though your queen I may be, you are subjects, not slaves. I don't really like this. I don't really like this whole uh, status thing between people. Like, oh, I'm the king and now I'm, I'm the lieutenant and I'm the queen and like, this just puts puts up like a social ladder. I don't like that. Like, I'm, I'm implying that I'm better than them. And he just demanded that as well. That they give, uh... I suppose these are the times, but still. Sure. Meave extended a hand, the royal ring gleaming upon it. Unfamiliar with protocol, a pleb gripped it firmly and gave it a shake as hearty as a good scrub in the tub. I think that was pretty friendly. My. We shall be addressing one another by name before long. This is an outrage! Guards! Grab him! Come on, Coldwell, chill the fuck down. <laughs> I've all in hand, Coldwell. Forgive me, Your Grace. I'm not accustomed, no how. Nonsense. You've a firm grip, a spry handshake, and a bold spirit I can respect. What do they call you, man? Helmer. Son of Florence. Delighted, Helmer. Now understand me, man. I am in dire straits and in need of your aid. So please, answer my queries in full and forthrightly. The bandits. Whom do they follow? Him, my lady. We've seen him. No name, just an odd title. The Duke of Dogs, they call him. The Duke of Dogs? We need him on the team. I'm just saying right now. My. A blue blood thoroughbred mutt. Where are he and his hounds bound? Did he say? That I recall, Imogen? What did he name? A Gleaton or something? What? Clayton. Lord Clayton. His estate lies to the south. Sound the horns. Have the men form up. We march at once. So we all gonna march to this estate? Based on the word of this peasant? Shouldn't we send scouts? Someone with a horse? Before we march everyone over there? Milady! Ah, but no ayah for the duke. He's a good man. Gave us proper brass for the welcome we gave him. Shared what grub he had. Shut it, louts. The queen's had her say. Your grace, your orders. What are we to do with them? <laughs> what the hell, soldier? <laughs> Calm down. How about just... Fuck off and let him go. Whip some sense into them. Press the men into service. Set the woman free. Leave them be. Oh No, I'm not gonna do that. But we might need to do that. Whip some sense into them. Really? Nah, we're gonna leave them be. Leave them be. The harvest draws close. Hard work. They'll have their hands full. Oh, my lady. Thanks be to you. Thanks be. I pray, Mother Melita, lay watch over your kind heart. Kind heart? All I, all I did is just show up here, be a total bitch, and uh, 
threatened hanging, basically, and I just go. What I didn't do is, didn't torture and kill them, I didn't press the men into service, and left the woman here basically uh, pretty vulnerable. And uh, also, this settlement might just fail if I take all the men here. And also, that would be just a total jerk thing to do. So, okay, I'm really kind. Uh, sure. Basically, I had a choice between being, like, evil, evil and... Well, it's kind of neutral. Pray she watches over yours. Should I hear of you sheltering bandits again? Of you lying to my officers, I shall return and put torch to every hut, field and orchard. Oh. Understood. <laughs> Great. Meave set off toward Lord Clayton's estate at a gallop, her mount knocking the peasants aside as it kicked up a cloud of dust. The folk of Hawksburn spoke of the royal visit long after, albeit ever behind closed doors and in hushed tones. She definitely knows how to say uh, bye. Uh, I'm just gonna come back. If you guys lie to me, I'm just gonna come back and uh, kill every one of you and uh, burn down everything you ever owned. So, that's nice. Anyway, uh, back to our very important quest of finding this uh, Duke of Dogs. Oh, notice boards are a great source of information about what's happening in the area. Clicking on them will cause markers to appear on your regional map, showing you where to find places of interest. What is this, Reynard? Puzzle? No. Loot? Wait. Should we check it out further? Did the Murag go down? Oh, I already clicked it. Apparently I can't click it again. Sure. It's a bit weird. What's up, peasant? <clears throat> your Grace. Two of your subjects humbly request aid. Yarkplek and Wilmer, they call themselves. Seems a wagon axle snapped and they need a... Hurry to the market? What are your orders? Summon the camp overseers, have them see what can be done. Oh, the Mura goes up. A few gold pieces should suffice. We ride on. We have no time to deal with this. We can get some gold for boots. We don't have time for this. Yeah, we don't have time for this. Sorry, peasant. Uh, this is not our problem. Like, realistically, would an army stop for this? Not really. My queen, a stray of Spala was found inside the dwelling. He was wounded during the siege on Hawksburn. They abandoned, uh, then abandoned by his comrades. The location of their spoils he is offered to share, that is, should we spare his life. So if we hang him, oh, we're gonna... Why do you guys hate this? If we let him go, he gives us money, but like, the morale is already low. Might as well go with that. What is this map? I'm gonna hang him just for giving me this map. What is that? He deserves to die for that drawing. <sighs> that rumble. What is it? Look out! Rock slide! No! Okay, I guess we don't have much choice here. Destroy all boulders. Okay, that's a one round bell. Crumbles! 
Fall back! Save yourselves! Your Grace, the wagon, we can use it as cover. Forward, we must move it forward. Okay. Slave walking book in Bombilero. What now? You're far fewer than I presumed. Summon your comrades, damn it! Chop chop! Before I reach for my whip. Give me a target. This is not enough. When timer expires, move. Please! What is this thing blocking? I can't even read it. I guess I don't Abolition need to read it. Your command. I can't take it out now. Destroy all boulders. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Oh, it's mine now. So we need to stop the boulders from getting to Maeve's row. I'm a long set. Oh, I know how to do this. Be smart. Or am I? Uh, depends. Laria! So, only way the Wagenburg uh, can kill something is that card appears on this row, so a card appeared on this row three times, plus two, and damage all... No, it's all units. Okay. So I think this the should wagon. work. Use the wagon now! Yeah. Oh. We've come through, Raynard. I thank you. What the hell, Maeve? Earlier... You were like, oh yeah, I'm gonna charge, and now we use the Wagenburg and a bunch of crossbowmen to take out boulders. Hmm? What happened to your The walls of the charge? temple collapsed. The buttress is doubtless damaged by something. Or someone. There's now we can do here. We ride on. That's right. Run! Oh yeah, we're picking that up. Do it. So we can open the map. We are going there. This is maybe where the treasure is, because <laughs> that's the only bridge. <laughs> that's uh. That's uh. Yeah, that that's a bridge as well. But that's not how it looked like. The one on the picture was uh, horizontal. Anyway guys, uh, that's it for now, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time!